Hi, I'm R.G. Skadberg, attorney with CCSK Law. Thank you for downloading Now What? What to Do When Someone Dies. A couple points that I want to touch on today uh, deal with something that's going to be very, very hard to control, and that is stuff leaking out of the estate. Uh, there's this weird mentality that, that creeps up after someone passes, that people think that they have a right to go ahead and take things, use things, claim it as their own, uh, and, and lots of other things that, that might might take place with the assets of the person who has passed. The reality of the circumstances is we can't let things leak out of the estate until we reach a point where things can be appropriately distributed. There may be a document that has to be signed by people. There may be something that has to be filed and approved by the court. It may be something that we have to make sure that we've paid everything else before we actually distribute assets out of the state. So the, the two bullet points I wanna make sure that we cover is don't distribute anything until it's time. Everything in the administration process has an order. It's important to understand if you distribute out of order, let's say to a creditor who is a down the line priority, or even to a, an heir who is even further down the line, and then there's not money to pay the higher priority people, you may be personally liable for that distribution, or the person who took something might be personally liable for that. So do not distribute anything out of the estate until it's time. There will be temptation. There will be, um, you know, want to try to make people happy. This isn't about that. This is being making sure you follow the law and don't get yourself in a spot where it could come back to bite you. Similarly, don't lend, don't use, and don't let people take things from the estate. This is very difficult. This is very, very hard. Some people will say, well, that was really mine and I was just lending it to him. Or, he meant to give this to me or said I could have it, and I just never picked it up. That doesn't matter. The estate sort of becomes closed of all of its assets until we determine when and what is going to be distributed to whom. So it, I have had situations where people say, hey, there's just a car sitting in the garage. Can't I use that? I need a car. And the problem is that car is uninsurable because it's owned by the decedent. And I have seen insurance companies try to cover this, but there's a real good possibility that if you ever had to make a claim, somebody gets into an accident and it's their fault and it's thousands and thousands of dollars, the insurance company could bounce back and say, no, that's not covered. Now suddenly the estate's responsible for that and everything in the estate is potentially at risk because the estate's gonna get sued. The person driving the car could be sued personally. You as the personal representative are probably gonna get brought into that too because you represent the estate. So. Be careful, it is very, very hard. I promise, I understand. It is very difficult to stop things from walking off or people trying to make the excuse for borrowing something because it's not gonna hurt anything. It may. So just do your best to try to keep everything inside the estate until it's time to distribute. If you have questions about your circumstance, if this is something on your horizon, give us a call and I'd be happy to talk through things that you might need to consider, what you might be able to do to organize and better approach this process. You can call us at 219-230-3600 or visit us at ccsklaw.com.